So now, what's the worst experience you ever had as a DJ? DJ at a party uh, in Queens one time mm -hmm. with a friend of mine. We DJ along, beautiful music. The dude started shooting in the club. Oh. oh. Months ago, oh. he started shooting in the club. And I'm behind the turkey. When they looked around, I was under the turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And I was grabbing my man, like, get down here. So, yeah. Man, that's. Versus that, I mean, it was scary. But the, he was he was shooting this way. Okay, that reminds me of that movie, The Get Down. Yeah, there was a scene in The Get Down when where he started shooting. Yeah, there. so he did this and um, they jumped him, took the gun from him, beat him up, and put him out. Then had him arrested. Did you have to go back and keep DJing after that? Yeah, I kept playing. All right, that's right what I'm talking about. Why don't stop? The party don't stop. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you're gonna pay me? No. So, what's the best experience you ever had as a DJ? I did a wedding. Okay. I did a wedding. Here's the thing about it. So, the place I did the wedding in was the Marriott on um, 301. Down by, by the mall. Oh, that what? That Marriott? Yeah. Okay. Is that the Marriott or is that the Hampton Inn? Hampton, Hampton Inn. Inn. Hampton Inn. By the yeah. Back, by the, by the, uh, Down the water? Yeah. Okay, okay. So the room is about six by two. Six inches by two inches. <laughs> <laughs> um, ended up doing a wedding tour. I went there with speakers this big and I walked in. The room. I'm like, I can't do this. So I had to call my people and say, yo, I need to use the other speaker. They was like, okay, go ahead. Right. The smallest speaker. Right. So, did the party, did the wedding, and it was, it was a wedding and a reception, all in one day. So you provided sound, sound for the wedding, wedding and, and then the music, music for the reception. reception. Gotcha. But the thing was, it wasn't, um, like, the room was tight and the music wasn't, you can't play so loud, mm -hmm. but they had a ball. Because of what I played. I played some old school 70s and mm -hmm. some old school 80s, and they was like, <laughs> they was loving it. And the dude, the, the, the bride's mother was like, oh, we got to have you. Right, and right. And so the best part about the deal was after I left, mm -hmm. after the wedding, everything was over, and I packed up and I'm on my way home to the house. Right. I get to the house, I drop the man off, and I'm ready to go back to my house. Right. Um, the person that sent me to the wedding got a phone call immediately after the wedding. Like, I'm driving down 301. Right, right. They're getting a phone call. Getting feedback about you. Immediately. That's good. Like five minutes after I'm going, and they're like, yo, you did an excellent job. But the thing for me was, mm -hmm. it made both of us look good. Right, 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 right. But he was proud of me. And right. for me, that was the best thing that happened. That's all right. That was man. the best thing that happened. I know that feeling. Yeah, yeah. When you the people just call, feel like, man, this is the best party I've ever been to in my life. And then they say, yeah. and then but they call it. But the thing was, it was they get that feedback. You, but you get the feedback else. from other. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they set it up for you to do it, and then they get feedback like that. Excellent. You cannot deny that. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna say half of a sentence, and I want you to finish the sentence. If I were not, if if it were not for DJing, I would be blank. Cooking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cooking. If it were not for DJ, yeah, I'd be cooking. All right. All right. So you get to do both? Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you hate about DJ? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Nothing at all. Uh, I get it. Nothing. I get it. Except, oh, uh, I lied. One thing. I don't like when people come up bugging you. Can you play this song? Can you play that song? Tony J, I need to hear my song, baby. Lady. So when the wobble came out. Uh-huh. I wobble. Play the wobble. Play the wobble. Play the Like three, four times in one night. Or if we What was the other? Blurred lines? Yeah. Oh my god. Blurred lines. <laughs> I wanted to take it out my database. So like, how do you feel it. about requesting? 
I don't like, I don't mind. Right. But I've got a system now. But what's your system? I bring a pad. Okay. A pen. Uh huh. And you put it out there. I put it. I, I put you a know note. What? I, listen, I, I built a note. Mm -hmm. All requests, write them down, and I keep it. That way, they don't have because I'm trying to focus. Because with this, you have to focus and concentrate. So, don't come up here touching on me, grabbing on me. Come on, man. I'm trying to work. I like that system. I like that system. Because then it you works. get to choose. Like, all right. Because yeah, you, want you to. could actually put it into the rotation. If I want to. If you want to. If I want to. Or by the end of the night and they say you didn't play something, I'm sorry. sorry. I tried to get I tried to, to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it was, it was like 30 seconds on the list. Right, but right. I, I can, it was like I did the first 25. I but did. you tried. Yeah. I, I don't like taking requests. Because it throws me off my flow. But you got to understand, here's the part. It might, it, it does that, but it also, you have to make, try to make, you're trying to make everybody happy. You, that's, that's part of your job as a DJ. Well, to try to make everybody happy. So if you got a couple requests in here, that's cool. Yeah, you can knock them down. That's true. But a lot, like a, a list? Come on. It was this one party, you know, it was a wedding. And I knew it was going to be that kind of party where everybody started drinking and they going to want to tell me what to do. Yeah. So I said, go talk to the groom. If the groom says yes, then I do it. He and I already talked. He said, don't be taking anybody to request. Because he already gave me the playlist. Exactly. Of what he wanted, he and his, his wife, or what everybody else wanted to hear. Right. So I already had the playlist. And so now I want people wanted to deviate off of that. You know, my thing is, y'all got to go talk to him. Yeah. yeah. No, we had a dude come up to us with his phone with a list. So he might as well have been the DJ. He was kept trying to tell. We kept saying, him like, to go. We had to keep telling him go away. Like, you can't. No, we're not playing all that. No. I mean, like, he had, like, MP3s in his phone. Like, mm -hmm. dude, like, no. We're not doing that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So, um, do you feel like DJs are unsung heroes and don't get enough credit for being DJs? Now. Yeah. Right now with this pandemic, yeah. Okay. What because, do you mean by that? Because now that they're, they're providing something that's going to keep people's mentality stable. Okay. Because music helps you through, music can help you through anything. Mm. Anything. Talk about it. You really want me to go there? I mean, obviously. All right, so here it is. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Um, 1998, I uh, went to prison. Okay. Um. And while I was in prison, I ended up, you know, just getting my head on the street. So, um, while I was there, one of the guys that left mm -hmm. gave me his, his cassette to play with. In, prison. in prison. So, so you had it now. Yeah. He, okay. So what it is is you got to do a transfer. You got to go to the depth security, get permission, because mm -hmm. he was going on. He said he didn't need it. So mm -hmm. Jeff said, "Okay, you can have it." Cool. He left me his tapes. Okay. So he left me Mary J. Blige's. My life, not my life. Share my world. Okay. And I played that tape for 15 months straight. Got to do it. Got to do it. So now you're playing music to help other people get through it. I'm trying to help people get So that's why I do live. That's beautiful. That's why I do, um, I, if somebody was asking me to do an event right now, and they needed to them free, I would do it. So now do you do any of the social media, like, I do Facebook Live. I do Facebook DJ Live. Bob Ski does Facebook Live. I do Facebook Live. So I do Facebook Live, and I'm on a radio show called FMR House. FMR House. FMR so House. So if the audience wants to see, they're in Chicago, Illinois. They're based out of Chicago. FMR House every Saturday, eight to ten. Your boy DJ Tony G. Ones and two. There you go. So if y'all, <laughs> if you want to see DJ Tony G, check in. 8, 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. Every, every Saturday. Every Saturday. Yeah. 8 to 10. And they can Prime tune time. in how? Um, FMR House, and you just click on the link, and it'll come right up. So they can just Google it? Yeah, it comes and, right up. It's, it, on, it's on Facebook. Okay. It's a Facebook page. And it's on uh, Mixcloud. And okay. it's on okay. Soundcloud. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you everywhere. There you are. I'm, I'm just... Got you. I'm you, just the, act, the dude that does the thing. You the DJ. Yeah, I'm just the DJ. So, um... So that takes me to something. How about this? Um, DJ State of Mind, right? So DJ State of Mind is many different things. Of course, when you're in the zone, yeah. that's a DJ State of Mind. You're communicating to DJs who you are mentoring mm -hmm. um, because they don't have a DJ State of Mind yet. Not yet. And you're trying to help them get there. Yeah. So, you know, if you were to just think through DJ State of Mind, who are you in terms of that? What's your DJ State of Mind? 
Or what is a DJ state of mind? For me, it's to make, so my state of mind is always to make that crowd rock, have a good time. So when they go home and, and somebody, some some lady came in and just permed her head and she left and her hair's all messed up, I done did my job. <laughs> My job. So, so. Or they go home with, you know, they come in there with the nice silk shirt, all the brothers coming, and the shirt is soaked in. You know how you know you get that little sweat right here? I got it. I love doing that. <laughs> Give it to me all the time. So, you know, that's interesting because um, in the back of my mind when I'm DJing, I have a few things that if if, if it happens, I did my job. Uh oh. Me too. <laughs> I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. so, okay. Yes, sir. You got a DJ state of mind. What? <laughs> you remember that song, um, Candy Liquor? Hey. That's the song. <laughs> you can get them to the lick you. Yeah, it's over. And I like playing for older crowds because they're more mellow. They're more laid back. They won't be. And they're mature. And they're mature. And they won't be out there, you know, sitting at, sitting down. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, they're going to get up and dance. They yeah. gonna, especially if you play something they remember. Right, right, right. I mean, reminisce. Play, yeah, if they reminisce. Mm -hmm. and then it was, they had car parties at their house back right. then. Right, oh, Kino. Ke oh, no. <laughs> Kino. Yes. Yeah, for Kino. Yes. <laughs> and then, you know, it's, it's, it's all about just making the difference in somebody's day that day. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody could come in. Somebody could come in and, and to your party or to your, to the event and they've had a bad day all day. Mm -hmm. Then they come to the event, so they got dressed, showered, got their pretty, mm -hmm. and they came to this event and the music changed their whole night. Right. And you know, now they don't forgot about everything that happened 12 hours ago because now Tony G or Doc, Dr. Reggie done messed them up and made them sweat and That's come right. out their shoes and take off them heels and they dancing in their stockings and. It's a, it's how we the thing about it is being a DJ you affect somebody's life. Right, right, right. You do change somebody's life for that moment, and you take them away from all that. You might take away all their problems for that day, that moment. I'm thinking of that song last night. A DJ saved, saved my life. life. Exactly. And you know what? Um, there's probably a lot of uh, medicinal type elements to that too, and we don't even know as DJs, you know, how we've impacted people. Um, you know, they could have been coming there with a whole different mindset, but they leave, you know. Relax. Relax. They don't have yeah. a couple of drinks. They don't sweat a little bit. Now they can go home and, and face what they got to face. That's 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 beautiful, man. So I'm going I'm going to give you a test. I'm, I got I got a, a a DJ quiz that I wrote up, but it's really no, <laughs> there's no right or wrong answer. Okay. Leave it's on. just an either or answer. Yes, sir. So like, if I were to say, do you like blue or red? Okay. What would you say? Blue. All right, that's as simple as that. Okay. All right, kind of like how Ellen be doing, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> clown jumping out there. I have no clowns jumping nah, out. No, man, we too old for that. Our okay. heart can't take it. Are you right? You right? You right? You have me. You have to pick me up. All right, so here we go. Old school or new school? Oh. Old school. All right. Techno or house? House. I knew you were gonna say that. 70s rap or 80s hip hop? 70s rap. All right. You know the difference. Uh, rock and roll or country? Country. Okay. Soft rock or blues? Soft rock. Okay. Go go or bounce music? Both. Love them both. Me too. Love them both. <laughs> I was just doing the beats. The beats are like ridiculous. They are. Now it, they got this thing called New Orleans Bounce. Oh my God! New Orleans Bounce. It was Big Freedom, you yeah. know, and it's just taken over and it's fun. Yes, and yes. a lot of times it's it's got that tempo that you like. That house. Tempo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got that tempo. Yep. Yeah, because they be making every re, you know recovering stuff. Every, yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah, reggae or Latin. Reggae. Reggae. All right, classical or jazz. Jazz. Facebook Live, Instagram, or YouTube. Facebook Live. Okay. Vinyl or Serato? Both. See, you're cheating, man. You can't no, cheat. I can do both. That's why I like both. <laughs> all right. I like both. Well, here, I, I, all right, here we go again. Turntables or CDs? CDs. Okay. Turntables. Turntables. Yeah. 
All right. Turntable mixers or controllers? Controllers. Okay. Powered speakers or as uh, DJ Bob Ski would say, passive, I say amp and wires. Powered. Powered, okay. Not unless Hendrix. Not unless you carry. Yeah, that's what he tells me to. Not, <laughs> not unless you carry. Yeah, yeah. Not unless you carry. You ain't gonna drag all that. You ain't gonna drag all them, all that. Mm -mm. Okay. Take the speaker, plug it to a wall, boop, punch the button, connect it to your controller. Simple. Wire, it's, it's. I'm gonna be like you when I grow up. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Light systems or no lights? Lights. Lights. Yeah, lights. Why? Lights. Lights makes the ambiance different. That's true. That is true. Um, work the mic or not necessarily? Depends on the voice. Ah. What do you mean by that? You gotta have a voice for it. You gotta have a voice. You can't. I can't. I don't have a voice. Okay. My people's have a voice. Got you. Got you. A lot of times, that's why back in the day. DJs just have an MC. Yeah, MC was because, there. Because he had the voice. Right, right, right. He had the voice. Okay, all right. Um, when you got, when you're, I kind of know this answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> um, because of the style of DJ you are, but when you get to a club, you set up and everything, you're ready to jam, do you want everybody dancing right away or do you want to warm up the crowd for an hour? Got to warm them up. Okay. Got to let them chill and get their drink on. Mm -hmm. Alcohol makes a dancer. That's true. <laughs> um, if it depends if it's like it's a cookout. Yeah. yeah. You play some soft jazz, there you go. R and B, play some old school stuff, and then you let them get their food in them. Uh huh. Then you let them get their drink. Like a chef. Yeah, and then you let them get their drink. Like appetizers, uh, appetizer, main course, entree, and mm -hmm. then dessert. Okay. That's how it goes. All right. Appetizer, <laughs> entree, dessert. All right. So I never thought about the analogy of food to DJ and parties, but it's gonna be in my head from, you know, because next, it, next it, time I'm out it's, doing it's a party. It's the same process. If you go to, if you do, do a, uh, uh, so you do a club, mm -hmm. and they have a kitchen. Right. Okay. Right. You come in, you set up, Dr. Randy's in the building, sound check, mm -hmm. once you do your sound check, survey your club, okay, they ain't ready yet. Right. Hit them with some um, Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Come out with some Maxwell. Spare up with some Maxwell or, or, or some um, Frankie Beverly and Maze. Okay. You know, like Southern Girl. Right, right. Blast right. them with that, hit them right out the bing. Right, right. Get the head bob. Get the head bob. <laughs> Get the feet tap. And then you sit there. The thing is, you have to serve in your class. Gotta watch. Okay. I see Betsy over there hitting. She's shaking up the loops. All right, we got. I got it now. <laughs> Bam. Once they go in, that's it. I got them. Don't let them go. Oh, no. So, let's see here. Um, how about this one? Huge ballrooms or clubs less than 200? Both. What do you mean? Clubs of 200 is nice and intimate. Right. Huge ballrooms is the bomb. But they be screaming and hollering and that just excites you just as much as it excites them. So, um, hip-hop or R&B? That's unfair. I know, because you got people watching you right now, right? No, because I, <laughs> the thing is, I grew up with rappers. That's true. Mm -hmm. Eric B, Cool G Rap, Kid and Play. Yep. Um, I mean... DJ Polo. I still play with the Disco Twins at home. But what's your preference? I mean, you can like a lot. Yeah, I like and, them and both. I get you from New York. I like them both. So it's, it's hard, because I grew up on both. I mean, I grew up going to... People's houses and they having car parties and bikino parties and all that stuff. So you gonna answer the question? R and B. <laughs> R and B. All right, R and B. I get it. R and B. R &B. You know, back in the day, we could take and put the whole A side. On. I was doing this last week when I was going through records. Instead of me working all that stuff, I just put one record on. Start with song number one, just let it go all the way through and flip it over to the B side and that. let it all the way through. Facilities. And most of that you do with R&B, mm -hmm. not necessarily hip hop. So yeah, I did that. So now, what is, so I'm gonna give you, I want a range of BPMs. That's your true zone. I'm gonna give you a range of seven plus or minus. Okay. So, so what's your ideal BPMs, beats per minute? 120. 120 to what? 128. Alright, so, okay. So in there, 120 to 128, you just get totally lost. 
ridiculous. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. It's ridiculous. You got to catch yourself. Sometimes. Yeah. So Sometimes. like, oh, man, I got them two up. I, 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 I got to break it down. I, get them, I, can, I can start them at 90 and then bring them all the way up to 128. I do that a lot. I, I do. I, I can start at 90. Yeah. 89, 90. Right, right. Or 88. Like, right, right, right. Like Usher's song is um, Bad Girls is 88. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I just keep How going. fast do you get to 120? Quickly or no, 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 no. depends. Depend, about build, an hour. I build 45 minutes. 45 to minutes to an hour. Depends. Okay. Depends on the, like if the party is still going and I still got them and I keep them making them ooh and ah and scream. Yeah, every time I transition to another song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bing, bing, bing. Gotcha. I get there. I get there. And I might not go all the way on 20. I might stop at 122 and come back down to 80. Right. Depending on how they feel and you right, feel. Right, right. right. Okay. Or or you know you have this. You have the person that's running the party wants. Can you change it back? Right. So you gotta listen to them. They're paid. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta do you what gotta they say. To them. Gotta do what they say. Yeah. Now, um, sync or no sync? No sync. No sync. No sync. No sync. I played around with it, but it. I gotta feel it. It's not the same. I gotta feel it and it's hear not, it. It's not the same as. If you I'd rather make a mistake. You're not doing because it was go- because it was feeling good. Then let sync do it, and then sync gives me a mistake. But here's the thing is, if you're, if you're good at what you're doing, you don't need a sync button. Right. Because this will tell you everything. Mm-hmm. And with these, we ain't have no sync. No. No, <laughs> sync, sync with. That's true. Turntables don't have no sync buttons on? No. Nah. 1200s, 1100s? No. 1800s, 21, remember the 2200s? The, the direct drives? So, how do you feel about the evolution, the technology evolution in the profession of DJing? What do you mean by it? Like, technology has evolved over many years. I may have said it wrong, but technology has evolved over many years. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, shoot, we grew up and it was a thing called a close and play. Mm-hmm. All right? And and if you're a good DJ, mm-hmm. you could DJ off of anything mm-hmm. to include the close and play. Close and play, right. Yeah, so, but now with all of this technology had out there, how do you feel about the transition now to all of this technology? Because it sounds like you're extremely technically fish, proficient. I had to do I had to get that way. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's made it easier. Okay. To do a party to, to, to DJ. Okay. Because all you gotta do is walk in with your controller and your your, your computer, two tape, two speakers, four wires. Keep it moving. And keep it moving. No no amps, no dragging no amps out the truck and <sighs> struggling into the building. It depends on the building. Thank God most buildings are on the first. Like no. Like I've I've done parties where we had to carry the speaker up two flights. Yeah, I grew up in that environment, especially yeah. in New York. Yeah. I used to DJ in New York. Yeah. And I would get to a place I'm like, y'all didn't tell me that it was no three elevator. flights later. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know. Or or I did one here, Silver Spring. Mm-hmm. Um. And we had to go get the sub and take it up two flights. I do dry runs now because of that, just to go see. With that, nowadays, yeah. with, with the, so you, you get a date. Right, right. So you go buy the spot before you go. <laughs> okay. So you know what you're getting, getting into. Getting into, because that way at least, if nothing else, you can hire somebody to help you. True, true. Like, yo, listen, now, you're doing Saturday. Like, Come on, help me with this speaker. I need something. Okay. Right. So now, if there's... Oh, and you got to feed me. That's right. mandatory. That's oh, yeah, man. That's in my contract. Okay. That's in my contract. Got to feed the DJ. That's good. <laughs> you got to feed me. That's good. I'm not going to spend my money to eat and do your party. And you're a chef, so and you I'm know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want some food. All the time. I'm a foodie anyway. So, if there was anything that you could change, you know, in your whole experience of DJ, what would it be? I did a party one time in... Brooklyn. Party was going just great. And then he started fighting. I mean, they just were battling up in that spot. Mm-hmm. And now, nothing else I would always change that about a party. Okay. I don't care, even if it's a club, but like after the club is closed, right. they're fighting in the park. Right, right. That type of thing. Like, I, I can't understand in my head how you go to somewhere to have a good time to fight. At the end of the night, it just doesn't sink. Like it doesn't. I can't wrap my mind around why you come out there to get fly like this and then go home, toe up jeans, dress all off, 
Well, like, why do you? Why did you come to do that? Right, really? Right. Why did you come out to do that? If you're gonna do that, go to the gym, get in the box <laughs> and knock somebody out. Right, right, like, right. Why do you come out to do that? And then you know, spend, you know, went and got your hair done. Right, you right. know, wasted your money. See, so now I'm, I'm thinking like, why did you do that? It is a bad scene. Home. It is a bad it's scene. It's a bad look. It is. It is. Because now, and and it's dangerous. You yeah. Know? I, or I've you, seen that. I've, I've yeah. been at weddings where they got it in. Right, right, right. <laughs> I've DJed at a wedding where they got it in in the middle of the dance floor. Right, right. They party next thing I know, poop, 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 like, yo, dude come running for <laughs> Not to mention, it screws up what you trying to do. You trying to jam. Now you got to sit here and wait for them to finish. Pew. Right, yeah. Hit the button, pew. Right, exactly. I'll play when this is over. No, I give it my, if you break my speaker, <laughs> just make sure you can go to the ATM and get my money. That's all I say. Because I don't, I'm not trying to hit it. So, um, what advice would you give to anyone interested in becoming a, G, a DJ? Be serious about it. You talked about that. You gotta be serious. There's no other. Because there's a lot of people watching. There's no other and way so to maybe do learning this. From this. There's no other way to do this unless you're serious. If you're not serious about this, don't do it. Because it's it is expensive nowadays. It's more expensive now than it was when we started. Back in the day, you get two turntables for 120 bucks, a mixer for 40 bucks, and, and records were $1.99 to $2.99 to $3.99. Now, a CD, a, a controller costs anywhere between $300 to three grand. Right? Yeah. Three very, grand. Very expensive. No, that, that's not. That's just on the low end. The higher ends, mm -hmm. six. So Serato, not Serato, Rain, not Rain. Who did it? Pioneer. Mm -hmm. They made um, CDJs mm -hmm. with screens on them. They're oh, called Travelers. Really? Yeah, the CDJ has screens on them, and the mixer has a screen on it. $6,000 per piece. $1,800. $6,000 per piece. So that's $1,800 just for a control? That's just for everything. three pieces. Mm. No, I don't have that. Me neither. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't buy it. Because you got to... Maintain that screen. Yeah. I'm not doing all that. But I love this game. Oh, I love it. I'm not, I'm listening. I'm not getting out of it to DJ till I die. So, um, we're coming to a close. Okay. But what I want to also do is afford you the opportunity. Um, is there anything that you want to say that I didn't ask you? Are there any questions of me or anything remember, like that? Remember this. If you're going to do this, you got to love it. If you're going to do this, you've got to love it. It's more of how it affects you. Like I have this saying, what you do directly affects others indirectly. So if you're playing that music, you affect somebody's life. You might change somebody's life that day. You might help somebody that day. Just remember that. Remember that you're out there to do something that's a gift. God gave you this. This is a talent, a gift. Mm -hmm. God gave you this talent. Use it for the betterment of your of your, of your man of your brother man. Right. Like right. help somebody with it. If if you're gonna teach somebody how to do it, help them along the way. Call them, make sure they check in, check it in and practice it. Mm -hmm. But if you're not gonna be serious about it, then tell them to stop. Take this stuff back to the store, get your money back, put it back in your bank account, and go into something else. Because if you're not gonna be really real about this, mm -hmm. there's no need to do it. You okay. can't do this and and, and Take it as a joke because it's not a joke. It's, right. it's a serious. This is serious work. Mm -hmm. This takes time out of your life, but it also affects somebody else's life. So you're going to take time away from yourself, waste your money, and not to be serious about that. Right, right. No, I think that they appreciate that because um, everybody doesn't know. You know, some people see a DJ and they're like, "I can do that." Yeah, they think that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, so you get to, so you have to go buy the MacBook Pro, which is. Two grand, then you gotta go buy the CDJ sound cable, depending on what size you want. It might be two grand. That's four stacks right there. Then you gotta go and get uh, speakers. So my speakers alone was six hundred dollars. Mm. Two, six hundred. It's an expensive. Uh, it's an expensive hobby. Hobby. But some DJs, like the ones in the uh, Las Vegas, they make money. Vegas, Miami, Florida. Yeah, they make money. They make good money. Well, I appreciate you coming. No problem. I appreciate your time and the education that you've shared, you know, for the audience. No problem. Um, 
this is uh this is something that you know to me i wanted to do um i'm a dj yes and and i know how it feels to be a dj and and i want other djs to be able to express themselves um because we really don't have those kind of forms everybody hires us to dj but they don't know who we are yeah they don't never get to know the person no no they never get to know the person. no so unless you're doing unless you're doing an event for somebody and you um, do a meeting prior to right, it. right. Then they right. get to know who you are. But, but now that. the world gets to know yeah. who DJ Tony G. So, so when you say I'm DJ, how do you say it on the microphone? I don't. You, that's right. You, <laughs> you, said, you, you said you don't, don't have, have a voice. voice. All right. No, All right. I, have, I have what they call drops. Oh, okay. I have drops. So I use my drops to work. The my, speak for you. They, yeah, they do all the work for me. I got it. <laughs> I got well. Drops. You're listening to the sounds of DJ Tony G on Turning the Turntables with DJ Dr. Reggie B. And this was very fun. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. Peace. Be blessed. Peace.